they were not a good fit. They just Carmelo Anthony didn't like that style of play. I think what Mike Woodson wants to run is more of a fit for Anthony. And now Stoudemire working with him. I think that might help a little bit. But I also think the other part is we talk so much about offensively how they haven't really meshed yet. I think it's just as important on the other end. Both of them have to play better defense. And Mike Woodson really instilled that last year. Remember he was 18 and 6 in the last 24 games and their defensive improvement was a part of it. The team was getting better defensively even before Woodson took over. But I thought Carmelo Anthony played some of his best defense down the stretch. And for them to really be an elite team, Stoudemire and Anthony have to be a big part of leading the defensive charge. Mike, Clark. I think you know what you, you hit it on the head. It was when the coaching change was made is when Carmelo Anthony seemed to buy in, but also just seemed to this became his team. He always kind of seemed like an outsider for a while. It became his team, and so now he has the mental focus coming off the Olympics. And what changed him now is he comes into this training camp. With a much better mental focus on what he wants to do here, feeling like this is his team. And so I think that leads to the trust, like you were talking about, Clyde, with Pearl. You guys came together because you both had confidence in each other. I think for Melo, he first had to have a trust that, that, that he could be part of this team. That now is there with Mike Woodson, and now he and Amari can kind of get on the same page. But that still remains to be seen, though. Love to talk about Iman Shumpert's haircut, but that's for another show. Right now, we stick with Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire in this conversation with Tina Servasio about moving forward as a duo. How many times have you been asked the question, <laughs> can you and Amari play together and win together? Every day. Every day of my life. Right now, I get asked that question. Uh, I said, you know, it's, at the end of the day, when you have two guys like